Hey yo guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the next episode of Rolling with Spudinator. My name is Vasisum Bonambi and today we'll be talking about GIS, the different careers in GIS. What is GIS? How can you apply it in the different sectors? How can you as a geologist or as any scientist or geographer take advantage of this skill and how do you apply it in the different industries? What job opportunities are there? How's the job market? What do you do? What can you be with GIS? And that's exactly what you're going to be talking about. But I mean, GIS, I feel like it's the most powerful system out there and people need to, you know, be well aware of it and how, you know, it's it's very important for the 4IR, how special, um, special location and everything is very, very important when it comes to 4IR. So yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for this episode. It's going to be one of the most epic episodes ever. Uh, just... Don't forget to do the most important thing before we get this started. Subscribe to the channel, man. We need to grow the channel so that I can do as much content as I can. You know what I mean? We need to get this content out there to as many people as possible so it can help anybody and everybody who needs assistance or who needs clarity or who needs information or knowledge. All right. So let's get this show started. Yeah. All right, now, first and foremost, what is GIS? GIS is Geographic Information System, right? It's a system that is used to gather or collect, uh, manage, and uh, analyze all sorts of data, all sorts of data that you can think of, right? But the most important thing about GIS is that it's rooted in geography, hence it's Geographic Information System. It's rooted in geography, right? So it analyzes your special location and um, organizes your different layers of data and then it produces it in the form of maps or map representatives and um, you know 3D scenes, right? Now mapping for me as a you know as a geologist is something that's very very common. I do it all the time. As a geologist, we map on surface, we map underground, we are always mapping. And mapping, the reason why we map is so that we can you know show the whole story to the people, you know, so that you don't have to be a geologist for you to understand what I'm talking about. You know, I show it to you by visually i visually show it to you to say okay this is what's happening there you send me as a judge to go and analyze what's happening i come here i show you the full story this is what's happening so what do we map we map different structures different you know uh, lithologies rocks types um anything anything that you can think of whatever we see we come back and we map it and by using different you know different colors different patterns different this and that and that you are able to see a story even someone who's no you know doing grade five who will understand what i'm talking about or will see the story of what's happening and with that you are able to make smart executive decisions you know what i mean so it's good for decision making it's it's excellent mapping is not just you know for geographers it's not just it's it's, it's something you can map anything you can use your, your data to create any sort of maps, any sort of maps so that you can be able to see the pattern, you can see the trends, you can see the relationships. And um, that is the best way to, you know, work with your data and, you know, sit in a boardroom and show the people the story and you are able to, you know, talk about something that you visually see, not just numbers and letters and alphabets. But yeah, that's what GIS does for you and it can work with all sorts of data, which is why it's so important. And um, on this episode, I'll be talking about what you can do with GIS, the different career paths that you can take with GIS, the different sectors, like I said, that you can dive into by just using GIS. So yeah, uh, I'll be talking more about that. First and foremost, okay, the first one is crime analyst. You can become a crime analyst, all right? Uh, what do you do? Basically, you study crime, right? You collect all sorts of data about crime, what's happening in South Africa or anywhere in the world, anywhere in the province. You collect the data of the different kinds of crime. And with that, you are able to forecast. You know, you're able to forecast, you're able to predict where crime might occur. You're able to declare certain zones as high crime zones or certain locations as high crime zones. Um, you know, you can work for the police department you can work for insurance companies that's information that obviously is important you're able to see trends different patterns where crime might, might might occur and why would crime occur in those certain places because you have the data you have the information you're able to do sort of all sorts of maps the next one is gis analyst within the 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 the, 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 the medicine department right and um what you basically do you basically map trends you basically map outbreaks where possible outbreaks might occur why do they occur there? What are the environmental conditions that might lead to certain outbreaks or certain conditions occurring there? Um, and um, 
yeah, you see, basically, that's what you look. You look at trends, you look at, you know, uh, how a certain disease is traveling, you know, uh, to, from one place to another, to another location, all that sort of information you're able to, you know, predict using maps. You map it out and you show it to the health organizations that you work for or for the NGOs that you, you work for. So you give recommendations uh, and you're able to give them information and they'll be able to make executive decisions based on your mappings. You Another one is that you can become a disaster manager, right? Basically what you do, you assist people when it comes to, you know, uh, natural disasters such as your, your earthquake, your flooding and your you know, lightning, any sort of natural disaster that could occur, you can be able to help those people because you can help them to predict, you know, where certain natural disasters can occur, uh, the different trends, the different patterns. You're able to, you know, work for different organizations, you know, you're able to work for disaster management companies, you're able to work for municipalities, you're able to work for CSIR, you're able to work for ASCOM, all sort of companies will be able to you know you'll be able to work for all right the other one is market researcher now what does a market researcher do a market researcher basically you know studies you know different sales you know different sales and be able to predict future sales they study sales they study uh, prices and your market and your distribution uh, you know before a new mall is built a market researcher needs to be there to you know analyze and see if it's it will be suitable in that specific location with the people would there be people coming to buy in that mall you know what i mean or what's the environment like around the mall uh, before a new petrol station uh, is built they need a market research to come and tell them yes you can build it in this specific location or no you can't build it here you can build it there even an atm even a simple thing like an atm before they build an atm they need a market researcher to tell them yes you need one here you need one there no you don't need one here you know what i mean they have all the information they all have all the data they can map it up for you and tell you where you can build what where can you make profit how much profit who stay in there uh, do the people work around there as uh, there is you know all sort of information they have all sort of information and be able to give you such recommendations uh, because they study sales they study market they study all those sort of things they are very very beneficial so as a gis specialist you definitely can dive in that sort of industry uh, who can hire you definitely you know your network providers such as mtn telecom South Sea, they can definitely hire you um the other ones would be banks also banks standard bank net bank they can definitely mark, uh, hire you as the market researcher uh, even retail stores retail stores can definitely also hire you as a market researcher so all sorts of industries think about all sorts of industries that are that can hire you as a market researcher you are very much uh, you know important in that industry all right, the other one is the GIS military specialist, right? I've seen a lot of these ones. I've seen a lot of um, GIS military specialists all over South Africa. They work, They usually work for the SANDF, obviously. Uh, but basically what you do is you map. You do all sorts of maps. You map troop movements. You map, you know, uh, aid stations. You, you basically, you know, you, because you have all the data available to you, you basically put all the data into a system. So that you are able to do maps to say, okay, where, what can we, what can, we, where can we build what, where can we go to do what? You know what I mean? You you can plan, you can plan, you can analyze, you can do maps, and that's very very important and beneficial. You can definitely work for the SNDF, like I said. You can definitely work for any military affiliates. You can work for you know um, intelligence um, agencies. So you can work for a lot of lot of departments. So that's also a very very important one, and I've seen it a lot. I've seen it a lot within the military. Um, so those are just you know so just, those are just the couple of you know um, career paths that you can dive in, um, different industries that you can dive in. There's a lot. There's a lot, lot, lot. You just have to research about it. Check which companies can hire you as a GIS specialist. You see, you can dive in into medicine. You can dive in into disaster management. You can dive in into tracking, tracking companies. You can dive into geography itself. You can dive into anything and everything. The industry is literally open it's open 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 you just need to know where can you dive into and you know it, it's, it's a, it, like i feel like gis is so powerful it's so powerful that you can use it everywhere and anywhere literally anywhere and everywhere because you gather data you just work with data and you are you're producing you know 3d um, visuals or you know you're producing maps you know what i mean so it's, it's a very very cool one and it's very very important for the four ir um, fourth industrial revolution, you know, because it deals with spatial location. Uh, I mean, simple things like 
I mean, if you think about it, simple things like you ordering clothes online, you know, you ordering your food online, that all is based on spatial location. You know, where do you stay so that they can come and deliver it to you? You know, um, a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of businesses right now, they're relying on, you know, spatial location. They're relying on GPS. They're, they're relying on where people are, where consumers are, how can they deliver certain things to them, the different routes that they can take, you know, the shortest time, where can they build their businesses, where, you know, all of that is based on spatial location. Something always happens somewhere. And so that somewhere is a location. Location is geography. And that's where GIS comes in because it's a system that is based on geography. That is based on the location where something happens, where it's a disaster, where you can build a business, where it's, you know, anything, 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 anything. That's how powerful GIS is. So what I'm trying to say is that GIS is a very, very powerful tool. There are different types of GIS softwares that you can work with. You know, you can have ArcMap, you can also there's also other you know open source softwares that you can find on the internet uh, that you can use to also practice yourself you know what I mean? uh, so it's a very very important one um, please make sure make sure that you study uh, you have GIS so you have done GIS somewhere in your studies uh, if you're doing geology you should have done GIS somewhere somehow in your studies I assume if you haven't please go and do short courses there are short courses that are available uh, even during lockdown i saw a lot of them that are available on the esri uh, website please make sure you check it out and you do those short courses uh, just to make sure that you also take advantage of the skill that you really need all right so if you have any comments at all please leave them on the section below i'd like to hear from you guys what do you guys think about uh, gis and especially in terms of 4ir fourth industrial revolution but from me usbura nata i'm just gonna leave it here uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to this um, channel and yeah definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about 4ir with gis